Hey there, I'm a couple minutes late. I apologize for anyone who was uh, expecting me at one o'clock. I was on a call. But in any case, uh, welcome back to another episode of Cheers to a Savvy Home. I'm Christine Holt, your Jersey Shore real estate agent and with Century 21 Action Plus Realty. So I'm calling all soon to be home sellers and borderlines home sellers who want to learn the ropes to a successful home sale. We are officially kicking off the Home Seller Boot Camp Mini Series. Uh, every week this month, I am diving into the steps you should take to get your house market ready. So, if you wanna join the fellow campers who wanna make the most money from their home, make sure you have your notifications turned on so you're notified when I am live each week. So uh, pour yourself a fresh cup of hot coffee and join me for today's mini series. Okay, so let's talk game plan. Whether you're thinking of moving up to a house that better fits your needs, ready to downsize, stop doing some yard work, or you wanna sell an investment property, you need a game plan if you want to make the most money from your home. So today I'm going to lay out all the time frames for you for what to do and when. And if you stay until the end, I have a special little bonus that you can get your hands on. So uh, let's look at this 30 to 60 days out. So the first thing you're going to want to do about 30 to 60 days out is schedule a home selling consultation with a real estate agent or just send me a message, give me a call, whatever works. This step is the foundation to home seller bootcamp. You're going to want a professional to create a custom bootcamp plan based on your scenario and your house to be able to sell your home for the most money possible. So here's what a selling consultation would look like with me. I wanna have a conversation with you. I wanna learn all about your story. Why did you buy this house in the first place? Why do you love that house? What is it? Is it the location? You know, Is it the house itself? Why did you fall in love with it? The more you can tell me, the better so I can market it to attract the right buyers and give you a customized action plan for prepping your home for sale. Remember, at one time, you were the ideal buyer for that house. So you have a lot of insider information when it comes to finding the next ideal buyer for your home. After our conversation that I promise feels much more like having a glass of wine with a friend than running through a PowerPoint presentation and begging you to sign a contract, I will create your custom pre-listing action plan. This will include things like staging, painting, furniture arrangement, and any touch-ups or repairs that you should take care of. Lastly, I will help you determine what paperwork you're going to need to have to get ready and to get things moving so you're all prepared, okay? So now that we did all of that, now we're down to 15 to 30 days out. Following your custom action plan, staging, deep cleaning, pre-packing. Now that your action plan is in place, it's time to do the work. This will include any projects I recommend at our consultation, such as painting over the dark red wall, refreshing the front porch, remember first impressions, and removing the Mickey Mouse theme from the kids' room. As much as it's probably absolutely gorgeous, um, and as much as you love it, and I might actually love it as well, we're trying to make it market ready so people can come, so you know, potential home buyers can come in and look at the home and be like, okay, you know, this is a blank slate for me. I can do what I need to do here. 
It will also include things like shopping for necessary staging items or having me help if that works better for you. Uh, starting to pre-pack. As you get closer to the 15 day mark, you'll want to do some deep cleaning process, get your home looking and smelling brand new. In case you got distracted, tune back in for a minute because in week two, I'll be sharing my home staging must-dos followed by what to consider when pre-packing and cleaning in week three. So make sure those notifications are on. Okay, 10 to 15 days out, getting photo and show ready. The windows are washed, the oversized furniture in the rooms have been moved out of the way, the bookshelves are staged, and it's time for photos. These photos are what buyers will be seeing before ever stepping foot into your home. So think of them like the first showing, their first impression. That means they are also what will get buyers to come through your home. You'll, so you'll want them to be um, as, as great as possible. In week four, I'll be sharing my tips for getting your house photo and show ready. So keep that in mind. This is the final stretch for the, before the sale sign goes up in the front yard. You'll be in regular contact with me with you, um, or your agent, finalizing all the details for how showings work, other marketing plans to be aware of, such as the open houses, and, and how you'll stay in touch throughout the whole process of um, from when you first put your house up for sale. So keep all of that in mind, okay? Um, when when we do this and please if you're thinking about it even in the future anything give me a call we can set something up even if we say hey let's just take a look at the house and, and see if there's even you know if even if it's something you are on the fence about we can talk okay but thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of cheers to a savvy home and before you go, I wanted to let you know that I designed a free guide just for you that walks you through what I talked about today. Has a list of questions to ask a real estate agent, a checklist for getting started with prepping your home for sale, and more. It's my free home seller bootcamp e-guide. All you have to do, comment below, send me a DM, to get your copy, let me know. If you have my number, text me, give me a call. And I will see you next week for my home staging must-dos. I want you to have a fantastic day. Um, quick shout out to Holly. Hi, Holly. Um, and please, cheers.